wouldn't want to skip 2020, let's be honest. But, Star, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much. How have you been? How have you been? How's the day been? It was awesome being able to talk to you for a little bit. After having not talked to you for like two years or something. Which is crazy to me. <laughs> but, I hope you had a good day. I'm glad that you're here now to chill and play some Mario. I did wonder about this game if it was like online, it had online multiplayer, but I honestly, I don't know. So we'll see. Day's been pretty good, really lazy and chill. That's good. That's good. How's your day been? Honestly, it's been all right. It's been all right. It's been kind of stressful. Uh, not in a bad way, but just just in the fact that I've been setting everything up, making sure that everything is working. I did some crazy lighting setup. Uh, so one thing I discovered was that so at any point before, whenever I would stream, I would have headaches every time after like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, I guess I guess this is just something people feel when they stream. I, I just need to learn. My eyes need to learn how to be in light <laughs> and i'm like the thing is like i go out i do stuff um and and it was still happening i was like but honestly i just thought it was normal it was only when i was setting this up that i searched it and i was like oh people just have photosensitivity you know people that that's normal <laughs> and you're not supposed to feel pain the fact that you feel pain is gonna lead you to to being blind soon. So thankfully I stopped doing that. <gasps> Akira. Hey Erica. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, look at all the little little hearts and Do you like my new face? I've been growing this one out. Not the beard, but the face. It's a it's a mask actually. You can see the seams just down here. Uh, <laughs> but how have you been? That's the thing, too. Asking how have you been, it only applies to, like, you know, for people I haven't seen in years, like, oh, well, eh, you know, it's worth asking. But, like, I, I talk to everyone every day, which is awesome, but. <laughs> Are you watching me while you give BB a bath? Is baby watching? Oh. Hello. Whoa. That's the 21st century. You can actually purchase the mask in my, um, in my merch store. So it's rod012.merch.com. That's not a weird. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day that'll be a real website. But. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. But yeah, I whipped this up just now too. So this this new setup I have here for just chatting with you guys, because before it was actually actually not very good. I relaunched my stream two weeks ago and haven't streamed since. <laughs> that's a uh, that's um. That's how my schedule is too. It's I stream every two weeks, once every two weeks, and uh, that's all. Then I rake in the money. That's how you do it. Stream once, profit. There's no in between step. People always say, "Oh, the step two. There's no in between step. <laughs> Aww. All right. So let's get started. Stream once, but every stream is a banger. That's true. Quality over quantity. If only, if only like the internet algorithms were all about quality over quantity. I just realized there's no music playing for you guys. But there you go. Now there's music. And, um, but yeah. So today we're, I'm actually going to be playing Super Mario 3D World. Let me switch over to that. And... I have never played this game, and it's actually a funny story 
because I bought the Wii U, the three, three, Super Mario 3D World Wii U, the one that came with this game, and never played it. I played like the first two levels, but never played it again. So this time, I'm actually gonna try to make a point of not only playing it, but I'm gonna try to get every green star because honestly, I heard that this game is one of the easier Mario games if you just play it. But if you actually go and try to collect the things, then it becomes hard. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to collect the three green stars on every single level. I don't think I've ever done that in a Mario game. In the ones that you, you collect like three whatevers in the level. So let, we'll see how that goes. But people say that it can get pretty hard. And I wonder how some of the things you did with the Wii U controller, you're gonna do with this. Because I know, I remember that one of the things you did is blow on the controller and then you blow enemies away and you blow stuff away. Um, they don't have that anymore. So what's the deal? And uh, I know that the, you could actually, you could actually caress every single thing, every single enemy, and they'd be like, stop doing that. But you, I know that you can do that. My question is, can you still caress them? I know that you can still point at them and hold them, but can you caress them? We're gonna be doing a caress percent. This is now a, a speed running stream. How quickly can we caress something in this game? That's what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> yes, no, they, they actually do that. They actually, so let's, let's jump right in. Let's see what this is all about. We have Mario, Loogie, Peach, Toad. Who should I play? I might just go with Mario. I can't do Toad. Because hearing that voice. Any takers? Maruigi? Okay, okay. Oh yeah! Mario time! Take the Morrow. Oh! Also, this is probably the only time you ever see Mario and Luigi do plumbing. Also, the music in this game. What a game. Look at this dinky jump. I need to pee! Oh no! Let's go! But yes, two things. Music in this game rocks. It's fantastic. Two. I can do Toad voice now without blowing out the mic. Because I installed a little secret something. Also, you could blow these. You could literally <laughs> blow these, the dandelions, and it would it would go. But you can't anymore because you don't have the ability to blow the game. I want to blow this game. Can I caress this Goomba? Cat 
that Mario begins. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to control this. But yeah, so I've um, I've been actually really excited to play this game because I love the music. It's like it honestly to me is one of the best Mario soundtracks. Like this theme song is so good. I'd say it's like in recognizability, it's on par with like the main Mario song. It is so good. <laughs> you didn't know Mario was a cat girl? <laughs> you haven't seen anything. If, oh. So, it's not, it's not a big secret that this game is actually comes packed with another game. Pretty much a full game called uh, Bowser's Fury. And the pun is real. It is supposed to be Bowser's Furry. Because literally everything, if you've seen any trailers or anything in that game, everything is a furry. You know, like, Smash Bros, every, everyone's here. They did it again with... What's... Oh... Before, you would look, you would look in the pad, I believe, and look around. Now this kind of just points you at it. Oh, that's kind of sad. Little buddy. Uh, oh yeah, that's another- so there was one big change from the Wii U release, they actually changed one big thing that makes a lot of difference. Your walking speed in the Wii U used to be like this. Wait, it's- is it the slowest you can go? This is kind of the speed you could go, the fat- whoa! Oh no, is Mario introducing Sonic jank in his games? Wait, can we get that going again? Okay, yeah, I guess not. Guess they don't, won't let me show off the Mario game. Alright. Yeah, how have you been, Bob? See, now this is an example. I was telling everyone earlier, like, it doesn't really work if I'm... If I'm saying, how have you been, but I've been talking to everyone all the time. I haven't talked to you, Bob. I don't... We don't usually catch each other anywhere. Oh, there's a secret. Is there a secret down there? There is. <gasps> I could have dropped. No. Where do we get all these things? That's the end of the level. I need. I need a cat suit. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. Oh, and we can go down. I have already said so many incriminating things. Oh, I got all three of them. I've already said so many incriminating things in one level of this game. <laughs> Please, don't clip. Watched. Oh, I thought I could climb one. Can I not cross? Uh, if you've- Oh, this level has two exits. Oh, there's secrets on the map. This is actually really cool that you can walk on the map. And just kind of... Chill. Should I Okey Tell me- If anyone wants me to play as a different character, feel free to tell me. I will gladly switch characters. On request. I tend to like playing as Mario, especially in, in games where they do have different abilities. Oh, I thought maybe... 
be something. Because, like, I don't like how the others are usually slower. I know Toad is faster, but, I, you know, we don't, we don't talk about it. Killed by your own shadow. It's like... I guess there isn't really a comparison for humans, is there? We don't have anything like a shell. I was gonna say, like, it's as if someone ripped out your toenail. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> someone ripped out your toenail and then started hitting you with it. That would actually be terrible. I don't know, I'm, I'm creating these terrible scenarios. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just... I'm just I'm, what, what am I doing? Oh, I was about to die. <laughs> Koopas are so big. Whoa, snipe. Oh. This one coins would flip themselves. Hey. Did I miss anything? Was there a secret there? Can I go back? <gasps> I hope I didn't miss a star. If this is the second star, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, okay. Why did they give you so much time? Ooh. Ooh, I could do the trick in this game. You've been good. This winter has been unusual around here. Lots of snow and freezing. That's what people have been saying around here, too, so I didn't actually get to spend, like, the full winter here where I am. Oh, yeah, and for anyone who doesn't know, I'm actually in... Ever since March, I've been... Uh, so, January last year, I went back to college to finish my last semester. Um... What's the deal with this? Did I have to kill him? Excellent! Why do I have some new sayings in this one? That's cool. What? Okay, so that's interesting. So, tubed people take priority. That's what I'm learning. <gasps> oh, you know what? I haven't been touching people. See, you rub them and then they give you money. <laughs> what is this game teaching people? This is actually really fun. Oh, I love that they also re retain all of the Mario jumps. Oh, oh, oh. stamp me. I made an account just to talk to you. Oh, is that Kylie? really cool. You can see the, the little crack up above. Just to, to put in the little light effect. Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. It would actually be really... Oh. Can I stop this? I can't. Oh. No! I need that. Okay. Okay. doing? I, I kind of... I got that without touching any of the Goombas. <laughs> Don't yell at the BB. But Michael, how have you been? We haven't talked in such a long time. Got my first sticker. By the way, I'm not going to be collecting the stickers. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought maybe... 
What's the name of these guys? Are they called Chads? It would actually be really good if they're called Chads. Welcome to a to toad house. Oh. I can actually show off the compressor on my microphone doing a toad voice because it won't blow out the mic. <clears throat> Haven't done this in a long time. Pick a box! Its contents will help you on your way! Big box, little box. Anyone? Any takers? I'm gonna go with big box. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, big box! Oh, did I waste that? Yeah, too late. You might be on a on a delay. I know that depending. I tried putting the least amount of late latency, so like it was. I could see you guys talking the, as soon as possible. No, they're Chucks. That's that's their name. They're Chucks, not Chads. Although. <laughs> Oh, it's actually a really cool effect on the star. I didn't stop to see that, but it kind of leaves like, like a halo effect. Not a halo effect, but like a ghosting effect. So I guess for anyone new, anyone new watching, I love to just like analyze the visuals of the game and do stuff like that. I enjoy talking about that kind of stuff. And hopefully you enjoy that too. <gasps> So, after this game, after the success of the Cap Captain Toad levels in this game, they released a Captain Toad game. Which I vowed never to play because it means I would be doing Toad voice 100% of the time. But here, thankfully, it's just one level. And they made the Toad level, so in the original, it was a single play player segment. Always. You couldn't add people. But in this one, Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course in his search for five stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera. And s and just so you know, Captain Toad can't jump. Keep that in mind. It was actually really cool because he's a very limited character in terms of movement. And all his levels are like these little dioramas, so every it looks like a little toy kind of tower, like a little Lego thing you would make, which is really cool. And all of his levels are like this, and they made a full game just based on that, which is really cool. And it is a fantastic game, it's so smart in how it does it. And it's, it's worth a play. Will I play it? I don't know, but... They're football players. Yeah, they are. I remember when I was little... My first Mario was Super Mario World. And seeing them, I had no clue where, what they were, because... Growing up, I had no idea what football was. <laughs> so... I had... I would see them, I'm like, what, what are you... What are- they're, why are they humans? They looked human to me. They didn't look like turtles. It really confused me as a kid. Just imagine little me being like, Why are there humans in the turtle world? Granted, I guess Mario's a human. Don't argue with the logic of a child. I can't even see the exit. Ah! Uh, Got me. Oh. oh, just from below. Mm. Oh, oh. 
But yeah, I, I remember, I remember when this, this game came out, and a lot of people had a lot of complaints about, complaints about this game. Just because, you know, people wanted what Mario Odyssey would eventually, whoa, this is too fast, would eventually give them. And for anyone who didn't hear it, I am gonna, I am gonna be trying to get all of the green stars, so three per level. We'll see how that goes. I am gonna try not to miss any of them. Oh, that's cool. But there's one here. Oh no 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 no, Mario, Mario. So the running, whenever he like achieves maximum Marioing running, you know what I mean. I love that he runs like he used to in in Super Mario World, like the the one from the olden days. <gasps> oh, little Luigi! Did you see that? Little Luigi coming out of that? Huh? Who's the old that? I guess I could, can I just keep farming lives here? I I know that I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, okay, so I do- I did keep that heart. I should manage this. I- I'm so used to Cappy now. I pressed- <laughs> I pressed a button to throw Cappy out to keep me in the air longer. The things you- Yeah, and that, so like, going back to what, what I was saying, I think now this is a very welcome, I, I don't think this is, like, something that hasn't been said yet, but I think that this is now just a very welcome game to a lot of people, where before, people were just like, get out of here with this, well, give me a real Mario, but, oh, what is this? Climb like this? No, he only he only does that. Well, I guess you could climb like this the cheesy way. The cat suit makes this game way too easy. You think I could? Also, the, that's something that <laughs> really got me when I originally saw this game. Like, you can climb the flagpole. What's the point of the flagpole anymore if you can climb it? Like, the whole point is like, oh, you got more skill if you can get to the top of the flagpole. With the katsu, you just climb the flagpole. What am I drinking? I am drinking Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. Oh, I, I don't think I'm allowed to show it. I think they might sue me. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper cream soda. Oh wow, that still works! My little Streamlabs thing. It still works. That's surprising. Have you tried connect? I can do it? Just connect online with other Nintendo Switch. So it does work. Okay. So if anyone does want to multiplayer with me at some point, I'll gladly do it. I don't know if I'll do it tonight, but... 
That's fun. I'll keep your mind, you guys. If you guys want me to play as a different character, feel free to say it. I'll switch it for the next... for the next level, and I'll keep it until someone asks me to switch again. <sighs> when you miss a single time. Wow, why am I struggling so hard with that? This music... Sounds like... I'm keeping the cat suit. Uh, one game I would play, so, as you can guess since I mentioned it, I played Mario World as a kid. No! I... I had a Super Nintendo growing up. And... The other game that I, I actually played a lot was Disney's Pinocchio. And back then, Disney games were good. I played Aladdin. Aladdin was fantastic. And blah, blah, blah. It was a great game. Ooh, look at that. All right. All right. Um, and this music is just taking me back. Bad strategy. This is a really bad strategy. Oh no, this is good, this is good. So this music is just really reminding me of it. There were so many great Disney games. Uh the guys who make now make the Lego games, uh, they made the first toy the first two Toy Story games for Toy Story 1 and 2. And the, I also grew up with them. They are good. Toy Story 1 was just a side-scrolling platformer, like you would expect for, like, a Super Nintendo. I played it on the PC, though. Stonepaw! Thank you for the follow. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? There it is. No, no, no! Ooh. If you ever get a chance, I don't know how, but if you do ever get a chance to play uh, any, either of the two uh, Toy Story games from back in the day, then, uh, definitely do, because they're pretty good. The first one is kind of hard. The first one has some kind of annoying things, but the second one it was on the PlayStation 1 and PC. I played it on PC again. I was kind of a PC kid. was a copy of Mario 64. So, you know, you're, you're grabbing the Pizza Planet token. Pizza Planet tokens instead of, you know, stars. But that was a good game. The music, too. Both of them have a fantastic soundtrack. I really love, like, really paying attention to the soundtrack to all these games, and, oh, so many of them have genius soundtracks. Genius soundtracks. Ooh! Give me that. Build to the song. And this is something this soundtrack does really well. Building on top of itself? Actually, 
That's the one thing I guess I spoiled my, myself for this game. Is just... Is, is it a little bit too loud? Alright. I'll lower it by a little bit. There you go. Tell me how that is. Oh. We're, almost, we're almost in the castle in the first world. But... Oh, the soundtrack. I got the soundtrack for this game because it's, it's, it was too good. It is one of the best soundtracks. Why can't you host? You should be able to host. That's weird. Hi, Plessy. What's the deal with you, fairy? What's the deal, fairy? Oh, no. I don't like that she likes it. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> like it when they don't like it. Control your speed by tilting uh, L up or up and down. Uh, jump by pressing B. When playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everyone's working together. Are you ready? Oh, the music. Yes! Okay, we need to keep an eye out for the stars. Is the star in there? In there? Nope. Oh, I see a star up there. Okay, I, I can't miss this jump. Oh, there's a, there's a moon. Oh no, I haven't, I haven't gotten any stars in a while. Thank you for the follow, Kylie. Oh, no, 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 no! There's a cave under that waterfall. There's a cave under that waterfall. Does Plessy like it? Okay. No reaction from Plessy. Two deaths! Actually, maybe we should do a death count. Maybe we should do a death count. That is one nice thing, too. They actually keep... Even if it's from before a checkpoint, when there's a checkpoint, they do keep the... Oh, are you sliding? No! Oh! Okay, so it's just a one up there. I'm speeding. Games. Yeah. Is that a real star? I see it. Okay, we gotta hit it. pretty well so far. I have not seen one of the stars. It has been kind of easy so far. People weren't lying. But yeah, I, I wonder why you, you can't host. Yeah, this game is super pretty, isn't it? It is a gorgeous game. They... Oh yeah, I guess that is something too about this game, which is... That is a, an actual very interesting thing about this game is that it kind of defined Mario's modern... Okay. Hit the blocks and make the pictures line up. You could win up to 777 coins. You get an extra life for every 100 coin to collect. Okay. Ooh, this song. It's one of my favorite songs. It kind of... Okay. Hey, I got 100.
um, it kind of defined the look of Mario. Like, Mario now, aesthetics-wise, looks like this game gave the look of... I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, the cubes, everything, not, not the blocks, but like, whenever you see cubes and stuff, the look they go for is from this game. If you look at the whole design of Super Nintendo World in actual theme parks now, they're based on this game, and even Odyssey, even though it's they're doing their own thing, whenever it's not like a themed place, like New Donk City or something where it's themed after a city, themed after, you know, food or a volcano, where it's very different, it, it follows this aesthetic. So after this, Mario games have been very consistent, which isn't always the best, because like it was cool seeing their abilities change. Soccer. Oh. Uh oh. All right. You gotta love Mario. <laughs> Mario's voice. He's just like he's just a jolly man. So weird hearing Mario go. Meow. <laughs> oh, it's time. It's time. What's in here? Oh. No. Oh, oh. You guys seen it? Hey. Stamped it. I guess the stamps might be the hardest thing to find. Because I have not found the stamps for everything so far. Oh, I can climb these guys. Uh, uh, uh. Mark, Mark. Oh, I see. Oh, what's this? Oh, there was a way for you to do it. Bingo! Not what you're actually saying. Oh, that's ooh, ooh. Yeah, even the music of this game uses a lot of the stuff from previous games. This game actually nods to the previous games a lot. All of them. Every single one of them. Who actually does a very good job showing this off is Donkey, if you've, if you hasn't seen a Donkey video. But he did a review on this game, and it's actually really good. And he shows off, like, how this game calls back from literally every Mario that came before it, which is really cool. And it's, a cool thing is that it seems like Bowser's Fury, the add-on to this game, keeps doing that with Sunshine, so... Kind of the one thing that we were missing in, by the way, I'm completely disregarding that he's on the car throwing soccer balls at me, and this is a pretty interesting fight. I'm just talking to him. <laughs> Stop. But... Was he gonna go... Oh. I thought that was turning around is gonna start coming towards me. I'll just kind of push over. The one thing he says, and I, I couldn't agree more, is that this is kind of like the Sonic Generations of Mario. He kind of gets everything that was good from all the previous games. Even like the story, it's kind of like, it becomes very archetypal um, Mario story, but with a twist. You know, you're saving the fairies instead of saving the saving the princess over and over. Because they're even borrowing from Mario 2, the weird one, the weird game in the series where, you know, you could play as the princess and you were trying to get out of a land ruled by a frog or something. So, so it's just really cool. This game is definitely feels like an homage to just Mario in general. And in the first few levels, I'm already being able to see that. <laughs> and it's really cool.
encuentre ni visita. Oh. Yeah, you just finished <laughs> giving him a bat. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it was just his hand. In a land where fairies can do plumbing, what use does a plumber have? I <laughs> wonder he's decided to become a cat. <laughs> Time to help the blonde fairy. Oh, I don't like seeing Mario's butt like that. Nah, -uh. <laughs> he's a little brat who bounces up and down to dance. Aww. That is cute. What are you saying? Look at these guys. Are they wearing glasses? They are. They're nearsighted. <laughs> That's funny. That's why I guess they always miss. these bees introduced? I don't feel like they're new to this game. I think they were introduced in Super Mario 3D Land. Oh. This looks like climbable rock. It is, it totally is. No, it's not. There's a gold pipe up there. This is super risky. So good for this. Oh. So for anyone who doesn't know, oh, if you're good, you can actually just bounce in the middle there, just back and forth in the death pit. But in this game, this game bases the four characters you can play off of Mario 2, the original Mario 2. So if you play as Mario, he's just your, your you know, middle of the road kind of character. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything crazy. Uh, Luigi, he can jump really high, uh, and he, but he's a little bit slower, but he has a really good jump. Um, Peach, uh, is also slower, I believe, but she can float, so after her jump, she hovers in the air for a while. And, and then Toad, he is super fast, and I think he has a normal jump? I, I don't remember what his deal is. Like, who really, who really cares about Toad's deal? Ah. I love too, like, they're following the, the classic Mario theme order. Not just the theme, but the theme order. That's the thing, now I just want to have the cat suit all the time. I want to figure out if there's a secret. Even the item, the way they do. I feel like there's a secret with that dude. Oh, I'm running out of time. I feel like there's gonna be a star in here. Yeah. One more star. 
Hey, leave, leave, leave Captain Toad alone. Do you have the third star? Okay, I have one minute, less than a minute. Okay, here we go, here we go. Pronto! Welcome back! Nya, indeed. And here you can hear the theme again. So now it sounds like... It sounds like the desert? I don't know. But all Mario games, when it comes to the desert, they sound like this. They have the bow, 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 bow. You know? I don't know what interest. What's this? Thanks. I forgot. She likes that. I need to do this. To other characters. Do I though? <laughs> uh, let's see what this is all about. Oh, 15 stars. More than enough to deal with this. This also really reminds me of. Let's try. Let's try a different character. Let's go with Peach. Really reminds me of. You can play this course using touch controls. Press R or SR to make touch cursor appear. When you're playing on the handheld, just touch on the screen. So yeah, these blocks, this is what I was talking about earlier. You'll see these blocks in this style of like these little diamonds and whatever in every Mario now. Ooh, look at actually how cool Peach looks. The little ponytail is Fire Peach. Fire Pe Peach is pretty cool. Okay, so here you go. She can hover a little bit after she jumps. That's her... that's her deal. It's actually... I don't think I had ever seen Peach in, in like a Fire Flower dress. That's a really cool color scheme. Wait, wait. Did I stop? me, please. Don't caress me like that. Too bad. <gasps> Baby Goombots. <laughs> Bye. There, what's the deal with this? This one... That was a secret there. Squished. You're not usually supposed to squish those guys. Oh, there's a secret up there. Was there a secret up there? Waves and Lurker. Hey, Tasha. Welcome. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, it was so much better. With... Was so much better with the gamepad. <laughs> Anything touch related like that that you have to point. The Wii U was good. Th that's the thing. The Wii U was stupid, but it was good. It was a cool idea. It's just not a very convenient idea. Oh, I can hover. So yeah, these guys. I oh, <laughs> thank you, Peach Hover. Um, these guys you could literally blow away with your voice or with the air in your lungs. I don't know why I said it like that, but you could blow into the controller and you can't do that anymore. And I wish you could. Because that's a cool feature. And the, the Switch doesn't even have a microphone. 
So there's literally no way. Because, like, at least with the touching things, you could do it handheld. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yes! Pitch them sound! Whoa! <laughs> she went really far. Another thing too, whenever you made sound, invisible blocks would show up. In this version, I believe you have to ground pound to make invisible blocks show up. See, and then you hear the ping ping. That's the sound of invisible block. Oh, see, there it is. But I would not have known that unless I ground pounded. And I'm not about to ground pound literally every point in the part of the game. Granted, then you could be asking yourself, why in the world, uh, if you, if you were gonna do the, the whole, you know, sound, wouldn't you have to be making sound at all points in the game, so that, uh-oh, 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 oh! <gasps> wouldn't you have to be making sound at all moments in the game? Would you be just like, <laughs> non-stop? while you... while you were playing the game. And to that I say good point, but... you know, making weird sounds at... Peach? Making weird sounds at a controller non-stop, annoying everyone around you, is definitely better than having to ground pound in-game, not annoying anyone around you. Peach is on fire! Peach might be the best character! Oh, I didn't notice that! I, so, she only has the ponytail for the fire. I guess, if you're messing with fire, Peach teaches everyone. Don't let your hair get in the way. Uh, definitely get your hair out of the way. If anyone saw that presentation in the 80s? Where Michael Jackson's hair got burned. That's what happened. Why well, I made a call back to the 80s. <laughs> you know, when everyone here was alive. How are you doing, Tasha? Also, 80s babies rock. Playing Valheim. Okay, so I did want to know about that game. So... Yesterday... Was it yesterday? When I was asking... Um... Uh, can I touch things? Oh. Oh? So it, it's kind of like a Conan game? Is that what Valheim is? But more of a... Vikings kind of inspiration? Okay, everyone. Left or right? Big or small? This is your chance. Valheim seems to be really popular. Yeah, no, I've been seeing a lot of that. Granted, maybe I've only been seeing it in one... Small? Okay, let's check out small. Oh! Nice. Uh... I feel like there's a lot of stuff about this on the internet. The internet can be very cool. Hey, why is this out here? But yeah, I've been seeing a lot about Valheim. And... I'll be honest, still for... From what I understand, if it is a... Let's try... Luigi time! Uh, if it is a survival game, I still haven't found one that I really enjoy. You know, the moment I picked Luigi, I remembered I really don't like Luigi. <laughs> oh, there's a star there. 
This is actually a really cool concept, using the shadow. I really like Luigi. It's a me, Cat Luigi, yay! Get out of here, Luigi. Oh, he's so floaty. But yeah, you can see he jumps really high. That's his, that's his deal. Oh, oh no! The Ouija feels really floaty. And that's saying a lot. I think Valheim's strength is just the base, basics well done and how the progression feels by not showing all the future things you can make. Okay, that's interesting. Also good at atmosphere and environments. Interesting. Cause it's still- oh. Um. Can I just do this? <laughs> this- oh. This is actually- Oh! He can eat the things! Can it eat its brother? Oh, cannibalism! Nintendo allows for cannibalism. This is the best... The plant might be the best power-up in the game. I, I can just... It eats fireballs and... Oh, I can't see. So somehow... There we go. But yeah, so, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously there's a difference of visuals and stuff like that. But to me, from what I understand, people still consider, when it comes to the basics of survival games, people still consider like something like Minecraft to be the best survival game. Is that right? Obviously, I'm... Oh, that's cool, using light. I'm not, I'm not an expert in survival games, but, like, it would seem to me, I know that there is a lot about the accessibility of, oh, it's a paper bowser. But this is a really cool concept, playing with the shadows like that. But yeah, so, like, from my understanding, something like Minecraft would be still one of the top ones. Granted, sometimes you don't want something cartoony and... and something that looks and feels like that, but that still kind of has a very solid base to what it does. Oh, I guess I do have... Well, okay. So earlier I was mentioning that Catsuit kind of ruins the pull and the whole point of it. Look at this! You just climb to the top! Get 10,000 points! I'm never picking Luigi again. Is this an anti-Luigi stream? Yes. It very much is. Hard to say what the average opinion is. Minecraft is good, in my opinion, but I think lack of focus on survival makes it less good as survival beyond the start. Okay. That's fair. I can see that. And I guess it really does have the whole building thing to its advantage. I got Luigi again! Just try. <gasps> Little mouse. Oh! Did you just flip them? Can 
I kill these mice? Uh oh. So so hard. <laughs> like everyone's meowing when they're cats, but I'm just not taking it from Luigi. What, what's this? What's the deal with this? What's the Mario? Okay. Only Mario can do something in this level. I'm going as Mario. What if it's a secret? What if it's a star? But that's what BBs do. Erica, they love throwing things out. I'll even take Toad. Part of the oh man, Toad is fast. I get why people love Toad. Look at him go! So fast! Green star. Nice. You get it, you get it. That's what I'm saying. Is there something hidden underneath these? I was supposed to pick Mario! I want to see what that is. I've never seen one of those buttons before. Here they are again, what I was mentioning earlier with like the colored blocks and stuff. Always kind of becoming a Mario trademark now. Not a trademark, but like a very characteristic Mario thing after this game. Like you could see some some things that kind of look like starting to look like this in in uh, Galaxy, but this one really solidifies kind of the this kind of blocky like toy box look to Mario. I guess that's kind of the look. It's kind of a toy box look. I think that describes it decently well. Does baseball? This is so hard. Oh. Erica with the host. Thank you for the host. I wonder what you're supposed to do with these baby Goombas. Uh, like why they included them in Odyssey. Because as we were talking about, they had a reason to be in this game because you could blow them away and whatnot. But in Odyssey. They they didn't have any feature like that from the beginning, so I wonder what the, the deal with them was. If they had a deal. I like the little mice, they're kind of chubby, and they're always running on the treadmill. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Nintendo? What are you trying to say about the chubby people? Are they happy or are they kind of sad? They're doing it backwards. That's, that's pretty impressive. You guys do, you do you, because doing treadmills. 
I got my heart. So, oh yeah, so you, you're using better BTTV as better Twitch TV. I am guessing. Secret downstairs. Yeah, there's totally a secret downstairs. Okay, maybe there was. I actually had to reset up better BTTV on, on my Twitch. Because it, it wasn't working. Like, I use the host button a lot. I think it's one of the best uses. That's useful to know. There's something down there. Cheeky secret. Yeah, we're just getting all of these green stars. It's not a problem. Give me that treadmill. What's up? What happened, Erica? What's with that? No treadmill. I understand. How many how many people here got? Corn Tubby, as they call it. I got Corn Tubby. I'm still trying to lose it. <laughs> Each character has a different jump power and run speed. Be sure to try them all out. I tried them. You're not making me play Luigi again. I did plus BB fat. Oh no, gotta put him on a treadmill. That'd be so sad. <laughs> a baby treadmill. Mystery house. There's one star for each room, so do your best to get them all. Good luck. Let's see. Alright, that's one. Next one. That's two. But yeah, no. Uh, I'm pretty glad that there's, like, exercise stuff down here, because honestly, I could have been doing exercise the entire time, but I, I... Oh no. Ah, it wasn't about that life, but then I started doing a little bit, you know? But then, you know, you start eating more too, because you feel like you have to. Oh, I hate hammer bros, or fire bros, or whatever bros. They're so hard to get. Thankfully, that was the last one. Lulumon! Thank you for following. How are you doing? I think I know who this is. I think. There's only one person I know. The little hills dance with the music. Didn't even look at them go. That was one of my favorite things as a kid when I was playing New Super Mario Bros. Every time you're playing that game and the song goes hop, the all the enemies look at the camera. Oh, what? In the world? Oh, this is bad. Okay, interesting. That was interesting. But every time, it, 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 they they were just walking, you know, like how Mario enemies walk, and then it'd be like, ha ha. 
You think I'm right? Hmm. You're 99? You're from 99? That's how they feel old. But it's funny because now we have people here that are from way before me, so then they're like, <laughs> you saying that you feel old makes me feel old. It was just an old. Ooh. Twins! Twins? Are you old too? Are you from 99? <laughs> no, I know you're not from 99. Oh, you mean in the game? I guess so. Yeah, We're talking about age. Wait. Wait, could I have become four if I got. if both of them touched it? I could have been four. Mario could have been like a, a virus. Multiplying. Oh. Multiplying exponentially. They're going to the song. Oh no, they're all confused now! <laughs> That's actually really cute. Oh. Mar Mar Mario's. I need I need one on one side. There you go. There you go. Excellent! Oh, <laughs> Triplets! Yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> this is no. There we go. I love these guys. They're just like minding their own business, and then Mario comes in and is like, I'm gonna mess your step! And then you're just like, oh no. He says it's a me. That's kind of creepy. Okay, okay. Ready? When the was that block? <laughs> oh no, this is starting to get creepy. It's a me. <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. I get it. Okay, we gotta put one of you guys. One of you guys. Go up top. Yep, yep. No. No, no. Hey Rods, got a dip out to catch. I can't read. Thank you for stopping by, Michael. And I hope you have a good night. Why are they jumping away? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's four of them, and it, they're making it really difficult for me to try to get the thing. I'm gonna get the thing. Yes, there we go. This is getting really confusing. No! You, uh, there are four of you! You do it! Okay. <laughs> this is terrifying! <laughs> Imagine seeing this! <laughs> Imagine seeing this coming for you! It's a me! 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 It's like, oh, oh no. And oh yeah, so that's what <laughs> I never finished saying. Sometimes I do that. I just never finish saying what I was saying. When you get a cherry, I will be quiet next time you get a cherry. I get a cherry. He softly says. It's at me! <laughs> That's kinda creepy. The fact that he says it kinda softly. Hey! Wait, where's this taking me? Oh! That's fun. Is four the max you can have? But I kinda wanna do that again. I'm sure I'll have more chances to do a cherry. But it's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy that he goes, It's a me. <laughs> oh, that's a cute one. That's a cute. What was that? 
Teaching kids that you should go to a casino, that's really bad. Alright, we got this. I thought that maybe going to the beat would actually do it. It didn't do it. <laughs> I was trying to, like, really get in the groove of the music. It worked for the first two. I'm actually rocking this. We've gotten every single star so far. Which means we'll never have to redo anything because the limiting in this game is like, you need to have X number of stars before you progress. Or not! This one didn't. Or did I like get through it? Bowser's Bullet Brigade. Let's uh, do this! Let's uh, do this! Mario's... This is a reference to Mario 3. That's cool. Look at them! They get so confused! I love it! <laughs> I really do! Like, why can't they just return to formation? They just get so confused. But yeah, in Mario 3, you go through an armada like this in the last world. Which, which is really cool. Like, I only played that- I actually played that game for the first time. This. Can I double it up? No, 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 no. This is really chaotic. I can't hear anything. These guys are my favorite now. These guys are my favorite in in a Mario game. <laughs> I love their. <laughs> then you mess with them like that. It really gets me. I don't know why. Hey! Is there a boss here? Is there gonna be a boss? Is this just straight up Mario 3? Is there gonna be a... It's Mario 3! This guy was in Mario 3 too. Oh, is that it? Can we do it? Invisible, but not really. That's the thing with a lot of invisible. Oh, I actually lost him for a second. In everything that there's someone invisible, you can only see them, especially in games. More like translucent. <laughs> I like Mario's legs just coming out of this. Stairs work like slides in this game? That's weird. Oh, so that was the boss of the castle. I wasn't... I can... Charge this up. I wasn't even thinking about it. This is the... What? We're going through this game. <laughs> this is not... A very difficult Mario game. I think people were right. <laughs> people were right. Not on the hard side. Hi, little fairy. I wonder 
Would the next one be jungle? It's mountains. Or beach? Mountains or beach, that's usually like the rule for Mario. Third world is mountains or beach? Is that? I guess it... This is different. Crystal world? I guess this is new. Oh, Snow World. Sn Snow World is usually World 6. And everyone hates Let's Snow go. World. Aww, this music. And Mario game. Oh, how the snow kind of... How you shake it off of the tree. It is... I love snow. Snow makes me very happy. <gasps> There's an evil snowman in the tree. Get away! No! Where are you? Okay, I did it. Can Mario roll? Does it get bigger? No, it doesn't. Can he reacquire his... Everyone hates ice in the game's <gasps> Look at him! Look at little Mario! <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Propeller hat. Snow spikes, not cool. So, in my college, they used to warn people about snow. Uh, about, uh... You know the little snow things that form on, on roofs? I forget what they're called. I'm really this stuff. Right. But like the little little thingies on roofs. But not s sleet. Is that sleet? No, that's not sleet. Is it? Or like the little icicles, I guess, that form on the ledges of like, roofs. That just kind of like... But anyway, that thing. And that it was dangerous because the, the buildings in the college, they're very tall. And that, you know, the... The, um... Look at this Goomba! <laughs> Look at him go! <gasps> Can I boo? Oh. This game is so much fun. Is he happy? Well, I, I kind of got him on a bad frame. There we go. What are my controls here? Nope, I, I need... Look at how happy he is! <laughs> he's in a little boot! He's in his little boot! <laughs> so cute! Okay, R to add stamp, R plus side. No! I am disappointed. <gasps> wait, wait, can can Murray do the thing? Oh, but he doesn't. That was one of the coolest things in Galaxy. He, if you like, did the spin. He would actually start. Wait, is there a secret here? Nope, nope, there's no secret. <laughs> did I did I hit that checkpoint? Did I not hit that checkpoint? Okay, I did hit the checkpoint. Good rods. <laughs> Good rods. Uh But he would ski. It was so cool. I remember as a kid just seeing that I was like, Mario, you're the coolest. <laughs> but he would he would like go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And it was the coolest thing. And I was like, what can they think of next? The next 3D Mario is gonna be so advanced. And then this came out, and I was like, what? This isn't 3D. It's 2.5D. But this game's awesome. Alright, I need a Goomba on a boot. Give me your boot! Are they not gonna give me a boot again? I'm gonna be really sad. They don't give me a boot. 
Mario, stop your spinny jumping. I want a boot. Was the one that was gonna give me a boot the one that fell off? Fly? Oh, I can hover, but not fly. Okay. Old Tanuki. In old Mario, you could fly when you became the Tanuki. No, no, no. You can't. Most aggressive Mario player. Oh, still. Like, everyone's just in the joy of playing Mario. And I'm just like, funny. Oh, that's very. Funny. Do this? Stars? I don't even have all the stars. Is there a secret up here? <gasps> I need something to make me jump higher. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, the, <laughs> the icicle story. So they they would say that like because of the tall building. Oh look at the aurora borealis, whatever. Uh, it could kill people, and I got really scared because <laughs> that was that was my first encounter with snow. So I would always be like, I'm gonna die. But. It actually was terrifying. I wasn't close, thankfully. No one was really close when it was happening. But I saw, it, like, a big one fall in front of me. Uh, one of the biggest buildings was, like, the science building. And they actually closed the, one of the exits because they there were massive, like, ice spikes or whatever. And they... That was terrible because, you know, they had it all cordoned off, but... One did fall and it was big and it was... Like, I don't want to die. Oh, boo house. Spooky. In the ice. Shifty boo mansion. Let's go! Well. <laughs> not doing a good... Not doing a good job there, boo. I can see you. No. No! What's the deal with that big boo? I don't like that the big boo is just there. What's the deal with this painting? I don't like that they were too bad. Oh, oh! That boo's- that boo doesn't even care. Got the star, congrats, thank you. Thank you. Is that just gonna stay up? This level's a teat. Boo levels are the worst, because they tease you. That's their whole point, it's just teasing you. There's something here. I know it. That's their whole thing, just messing with you. Maybe they're- maybe it's like double messing with me. Maybe there isn't anything here. Oh, the music though. 
looks good. Um, maybe there isn't anything there, and that's the. That's the they've incorporated more like library and stuff like that. for having secrets. Oh, oh. Like that. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think that that one could have been... What that I'm trying to... Oh, I could have moved the camera. I think that that's the first one I could have missed if I wasn't really trying to, like, be kind of a completionist. Oh! The music. Helpful ladder. They, they're so... Is there a big mirror there? Oh, so you could see the thing that I got earlier. Screw you. <laughs> There's a secret! No, there isn't. Oh! Oh no. I think I've done it here. Oh, oh. That's a very... <laughs> <laughs> the way these are falling, it's very aggressive. Oh, oh. Okay. Is there something farther? I don't think so. I missed a star. I missed a star. That's, that's not good. I was so intent in talking about like how, oh, that was the first star I missed while I already had missed a star. What? <laughs> Maybe it was at that place. No, no, no. Maybe it was that place that I thought didn't have anything. Or maybe it did have something. Okay. Now I know, you stay on the couch. Stay on the couch. Excellent. I'm gonna have to... Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna have to redo this level, because where... where was it? Oh, now he's gonna fall. What? Tricky, tricky boo. Where was it? I'm trying to... It must have been something to do with that... That circle of... That circle of... Thingy things. You know? We'll, we'll play with someone else. Peach. Peach is my second favorite character. Honestly, if not my... My top favorite character. She's, she actually... Okay. If I go down here fast... See, like, there's something here. It's something to do with this. But I don't know what. There's 
there's something there. But I don't, I don't know how to deal with it. Maybe there's something up here. Peaches? Peach is pretty cool. <sighs> There's totally something there. I don't know how to activate it though. Not up here per se, but on the on the thing downstairs. How do I activate it? What's the deal with this? stamp. I know about the stamp. <sighs> Maybe something to oh, wait, wait. Do you see that? Oh, I messed up. Okay, it had literally nothing to do with that. So it had nothing to do with that? There's something up there. There's something up there! There's a, a timer thingy. Man. I call myself a Mario fan. I didn't even know to go inside the boo. The boo painting. Mmm. Mmm. I feel ashamed. I was making tea. I didn't see. I found it! I didn't see when you said that. Did you find it before I did? Good job, detective. We will call you for your next assignment very soon. Granted, I expect these to be one of the trickier ones. I lost cool peach. I still haven't seen baby peach. She's actually pretty fast too. I guess the speed up that they gave every character in this version of the game is pretty significant. Because they all do feel pretty fast. Not as fast as... Yeah, I know not the real one. Peach is on the next level. Ran out of drink. Time to go for the big bottle. What did I get? Did I get repeat numbers? Oh, I got a little boo. <laughs> you found it when I found it? I feel that. Ooh, there's another toad level. Surprising. I thought that maybe the Toad level would have a lot of Toad talk, but it doesn't. So maybe if I do play Toad Treasure Tracker, there won't be a lot of Toad talk. And I will be able to play without having to worry about having to use Toad voice. Non-stop. Also, Toad can breathe underwater. Like this. Check this out. You know, there's no barrier here on the side, but he still won't fall off. Okay. I see. Let's see what the passage is. It's a mushroom for a toad. Okay. 
Also, did you know? <laughs> it's gonna sound like. Uh, <laughs> did you know gaming or one of those videos? Did you know that Toad, that in Super. I messed it up. That in Super Mario Bros. 1, Toad actually. I messed up all the facts. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. How do I get that metal? I guess it could jump off. Okay. Did you know in Super Mario Bros. 1, every block you break is actually a, a citizen of the Mushroom Kingdom? You're actually killing every single member of the Mushroom Kingdom by doing so. And the blocks, the mushrooms you find in the blocks, are actually dead toads. Did you know? By the way, that's actually true. The first Mario game had a very serious plot. Not plot, but just concept for the blocks. Oh, you're going? Alright. Have fun playing badminton. And thank you for stopping by, Kylie. It was very fun having you. Thank you everyone for that stuck around and that came and went. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It really means a lot having you here watching this. Even though I'm sure that this is this is gonna be a <laughs> oh no this is gonna be almost ten years this game came out. So I'm sure you many people. This song is good. Meow, meow. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Uh oh. And sticking around and chatting. It's, uh. I'm actually just really enjoying it. <laughs> I'm having a really good time playing this game. And. Is this where the challenge actually gets good? A little bit too fast for the key. I'm loving it. Meow, 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 meow. Excellent! Why is he making an egg pot? This is Sonic. Meow, meow, meow. They should have made a meow version of every song in the game. That would have been so annoying. Meow, 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 meow. They should have made a meow version. Mario saying meow meow still really gets me. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> why is this happening? Where am I? Oh, oh, I gotta do this quick. Yes! This is getting actually really hard. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Mama meow! <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. They could totally do it. It's not, it's not out, out of the realm of possibility <laughs> for being honest here. <laughs> They could just make all the Mario quotes with cat. What is that? Is that three deaths? Mario. Oh, I got the Luigi one. Get out of here, spotted cat Luigi. I, 
I really don't like when they're walking away from the camera and they're pointing their butts at us. <laughs> it's not cool. Uh, our favorite pastime. Can't exit without. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, Star. Oh, by the way, I am... One thing that I am doing uh, that I, I wasn't doing before, I am streaming at max bitrate. Are you guys getting the option for different qualities? Because it would be a real problem if you weren't. And oh, oh, okay. Okay. What in the world? Okay. Okay, okay. What was that? Okay, I need to get this bunny. I have a hundred seconds. It's a Princess Peach button! Ugh, I'm gonna have to come back here with Peach. Oh no. Well, that's a good excuse. No transcodings? Maybe there will be in the future? Okay. Yeah, maybe. I was getting transcoding pretty... pretty regularly. Uh... So I guess it's just because I haven't... I haven't streamed for over a year. So maybe I'll try... I'll lower... For next time, I'll lower the... The bitrate a little bit so it becomes a little bit more accessible. Bitch! You gotta get the bunny! Peach! Get the bunny! Get the bunny, Peach! Oh! Get the bunny! the best character. He has such control over her mobility. You might as well just play Peach. If you're not playing Peach, you're a loser. But yeah, but do keep me posted on if, you know, I'm getting transcoding or not, because that... Why you? You don't play as Peach when you play Mario games? Yeah. I need to get back in. I didn't get one of the stars. Oh, a Kamek. Oh, the worlds are getting bigger, too. You don't like Peach? Why not? She's not a Luigi. How much hate can we give Luigi? All the hate is the answer. This game is probably awesome for speedrunners. Like, look at all that! Imagine speedrunning this game. Probably really fun. What if I speedran again? 
What if I became a pro speedrun? Just saying. Putting it out there. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Wonder what game would be the best for speedrunning. I mean, you can speedrun it almost. I mean, you can, you can speedrun anything. But which one would be the most fun? Okay. Is that it? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you can refight. Oh, you can. That's fun. Okay, let's try getting in the groove again. <laughs> Okay, no, it didn't work. It works for two every time. There's the fairies. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh, I have to beat this. Thing. A water level. Is this our first water level? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh, there's a border. And there's a border, there are coins. What? There weren't any coins there. Is this not a Mario game? A Mario game doesn't put coins on the borders. I messed up. Look at them sleeping. Oh no! Wait, why is this a beach area? Isn't this the ice zone? Oh, I thought this was water. <gasps> I lost my cat ability. Can I only do a backflip? It's cool that you can do all of your... Any Mario... Oh. Any Mario, um, technique you've used in the past, you can totally use in this game because it, it has it. Including forward. Like, if you do uh, an Odyssey, something that, if you haven't played this game, you've only played Odyssey for, it works, which is really cool. So doing the little roll, like, roll in the air and then dive forward to keep forward momentum. They... That's something I... You do a lot in Odyssey. And it works. Well, that's really cool. My favorite speedrun to watch is probably Half-Life. Half-Life is really good. I... Actually, a few years ago, I th think maybe 2018, I got into watching uh, G uh, GDQ, which is games done quick. It's They do it for charity. I think at the beginning of the year, they do it for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, and in the middle of the year, they do um, Doctors with No Borders, I believe. Uh, so, you know, it's a great cause, and it's really fun because they explain the, the, um, the speedrun. So, for someone that was just starting and had never really seen speedruns, that was actually really interesting. This is so cool. What? <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> They're not even gonna mention that? <laughs> That's really cool. Just a bunch of pirate chips. That's really cool. Do they 
have pirate ships? I guess they have they have airships, air pirate ships in Mario, but they don't have pirate ships. That's really cool. The closest thing I think to Mario having pirate ships is Mario. Mario Mario Land's whole theme is pirates and pirate ships, which is actually really cool. I grew up on Mario Land too. Not the number two, but as well. I've watched speedruns of some of the Resident Evil games. Um, the... I actually really love... Those are some of the ones I really love. Are the... The... Resident Evil ones. In fact, horror games. Uh, Silent Hill as well is super fun to watch. Uh, a lot of horror games are incredibly fun to watch. For some reason. Like, I, I think they just do a really good job. Like, maybe it's because they're really breakable games. But they are a joy to watch speedruns of. So if, you know, if you haven't really ever gotten into speedruns and you... Sometimes just picking up a speedrun... Did I just miss? Maybe I needed to be a cat. Did I just half-masted it. You never want to half mast. But yeah, uh, the first speedrun I ever watched, and it's kind of cool because it was kind of a recent thing, so I can actually trace back to that. Uh, the first speedrun I ever watched was Resident Evil 4 for, I believe, the 2018 video. Uh, which one of them? I don't remember. But... It... Hello. Let's go. Okay, so I missed the first two. What? What are you? Um. And Resident uh, that year they did like just any percent, and any percent is just the fastest you can go. Period. So you know, using any method you want, to play any percent. It's just like the quickest you can finish the game, no matter what. It's in one of those trees. Okay, so I did get- no, I did get the first one, so it's not gonna be early on. Oh, but yeah, that's what I was gonna try. I was gonna try to get a cat But, those are my favorite, just because they- they go crazy with the witches and stuff. I really don't like- well, depend on, depending on the game, it's actually really fun, watching glitch lists and whatnot. Um, I actually enjoy quite a few that are glitchless, but... Is it just that? I wonder if I go in a different direction. Oh, you know what? I think I used... Why is there a pink block here? Actually, yeah, I, I enjoy... I honestly enjoy any... I've kind of become a speedrun junkie. But like, I, I like what- I've found that- Do Stardew Valley rush to three year- to year three percent by going to sleep right at the start of every day. Oh yeah, I went up- This was the first star, okay. Yeah, there are some really boring ones. <laughs> One that is actually- a game that actually- we got to do this level again because this is really cool. A game that I actually really thought was cool, and games and the, a series in general that is just has really cool speedruns, is Mario. Because it's such technical platforming, and it's so much on the player themselves to be good. And it's just a joy to watch. At least for me, it's so, like, it's just impressive what some of them do just because it is very much movement-based. It's not just, like, waiting or, you know, something more passive. It's very much precision movements and stuff like that, and it's really cool. And that's, I'd say, the type of um, glitchless speedruns that I do enjoy are the ones that have a lot of... Oh! Have a lot of precision movement. Because I think precision movement is very cool. Uh, yeah, in general, 
if I were to generalize the type that I tend not to enjoy as much, it, oh, I see. Crack in the wall here. But the type that I tend not to enjoy as much is two, older 2D games for some reason. I really enjoy 3D games for speedrunning. There we go. Yep. I think randomness, unskippable cutscenes and such can make it a panic pain. True. True. I think the ones that are really heavy on RNG really kind of like, it's like, oh, it doesn't really... But if you, it's like one or two things that have a little bit of a RNG, I think it's still fine. But it's, but yeah, the cool, the cool speedruns are the ones that are skill based, and you are watching someone do something that you know they have to be good to do it, and not just wait or not just you know. And obviously, you have to be good to do it, even the ones that are easier. Usually, I'm not gonna say that. No speedrun is easy. I'm sure that. Oh, I see a little uplet right here. These ones were tricky. These ones were tricky. Um, but, but yeah, no, I completely agree. I think if you have, uh, I was trying to grab these. Little things. Oh, I see you, money bags. But yeah, the really high skill ones are so much fun to watch because you're just watching them. What are you doing? What are you doing? And that that is honestly one of the greatest. Can I not? Pitch! You go to Okay, I gotta do the trick. On the cube. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Physics, I guess. Also, going out of bounds can make things kind of silly. True, and those are also really fun to watch. That's why I love watching any Bethesda game because they go out of bounds immediately. Those games are so breakable. I mean, they are broken by nature. <laughs> so it's like, oh, this is out of bounds. Oh, I'm out of bounds. It's like, they barely didn't do anything. They like touched a wall and the wall just like shimmied away. It's, <laughs> it's how Bethesda games work. <gasps> oh, I've heard of this level. Enjoy this, enjoy this. This is a good level. Okay, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with... Oh no. Okay, I do have time. I just wanted to go really fast, but I guess not very practical for it. But yeah, again, this is what makes this game feel like such an homage to Mario. Like, it even includes uh, Mario Kart, which is so cool. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a Mario Kart level, even with the music. Like, what other game includes just all these things about Mario? Whoa. Marwin is just a few minutes, yeah. Gotcha, buddy. Oh no, I'm way too fast. Oh, oh. oh! This is a fun level. <gasps> no! And I think Peach is the one for getting that. <clears throat> okay, now we know. This is a great level. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't see the previous one. 
Oh, as in you can't see what the runners do. <laughs> and that's why I like the G GDQs type thing, because they explain you what they're doing. And sometimes, especially if they're... Some of them don't care about doing it the fastest. They want to show off how it works. Some of the runners, and I think those are my favorite. Because you can really see, like, they'll stop and be like, Hey, this is how you do it. And I think that that's the coolest way of doing it, just because... Like, I don't care, per se, that you get the fastest record when I'm watching something like that. I am way more interested in... Yeah, this time I'm gonna take it really slow. No, it's not the point of this level. I need to know where the first star is. We'll go down. Oh! No, Peach! No! <laughs> she was too fast. Oh, I have 38 lives, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I think it's pretty rare- yeah, no, they don't. Some people try, though. This year, uh, this year's, uh, GDQ that happened. What? Oh, I should do this. Uh, apparently they got, like, a couple, which is really rare, but really cool that they did end up getting it. Again. <laughs> At least it's a fun level and it's a song that. Oh, no, the one is to gamble again. At least it's a song I'm pretty sure we won't hear for maybe the rest of the run. Unless they do other Mario Kart levels. And we know where it is, so I can speedrun. I'm gonna speedrun the level. Not fast. So it starts at 400. That's a nice thing, nice thing about Mario, is that you can actually tell. How many seconds you take. Although they're not real seconds, they're fake seconds, so. And you would never run Peach for a speedrun because she's slow. Okay, I just gotta hold my hover. And then I gotta do my my boppity bop. I might not be able to get this. I might not be able to get this. I might need Cat Mario or Tanuki. I might need Tanuki. I might need Tanuki. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here when I have Tanuki. Don't let me forget. Come back when I have Tanuki. Oh no. Yeah, if I ran here with Toad. You think Toad can make it? Because he's so fast. Okay, this will be my last try here. Without any sort of other power-up. But I'm gonna try it with... Maybe Luigi. Luigi jumps real, but he's slow. I need more forward momentum. Let's see. Yep. 
Get Toad. Okay, man, let me see if there's a... So fast. <laughs> I'm going around the block. Toad, calm down. <laughs> Even for sliding the guys fast. Look at that. So I'm getting a lot of coins. Okay, no. Oh. Made for speed running. That was really fast, though. Oh, am I gonna have a toad flag? But that's the thing, too, with Mario games, with especially the 2D Mario games for speedrunning. They can't go too fast, because then the counter in the end takes a long time, especially with the older Marios. All right, I'm getting out of here. Yeah. I need to get a tanuki suit, or a cat suit, which shouldn't be hard. <gasps> Is the next one, like, fall? <sighs> I'm excited for the next level. Again, I'm getting the same pattern over and over. So it seems like we're... Switchboard falls. Yeah, especially with... I can definitely tell, even though I barely played this game originally, I can definitely tell that they sped up things. <laughs> because... Toad is hard to control! I came here because I wanted to see what that guy was. That's interesting. The song. And this is, I think, another good characteristic of a Mario game. Which might not seem like it's like, what? But... Repeating songs. I think with the more complex soundtrack spot, which, in some ways, they're needed. Definitely good. Especially with very cinematic games. But they lost their, like, what's the word I'm looking at? Oh wow, there's the goal. They kind of lost their ease of, like, remembering them. The, it became harder to be like, oh, oh yeah, I like this tune. Kind of like catchy tunes. Like, you don't have catchy orchestra tunes usually. Like, they're, they may be beautiful and, and, like, very complex, but they're not usually catchy, per se. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. But I think... I think that Mario still strikes a good... A good balance between that, where they have become like these very nice orchestrated pieces, but they still remain like they make it repetitive, not exactly repetitive, but like there's a lot of repeating themes. And like, I I'm not a music person, so repeating patterns in the songs, and it makes it so they are catchy and they are memorable, and it's really cool. So you can have, like, thinking of, like, a Bioware game or something. They have these beautiful orchestra, but there are... But that's the thing, too, with big orchestrated things. You can also do this. You can have, also have good theming in your soundtracks, where... I remember... Uh, Mass Effect. Whenever there was a theme, and that's usually what a lot of these games... Are you serious? I found the... <laughs> Smallest cap. Um, that's four or five things. Oh no, 
now I don't. Oh! Now I don't have a way to deal with these guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Okay. Where they'll have the theme song, and then I remember whenever I when they showed the Normandy in Mass Effect Two, and like. You're there with Joker right at the beginning of the game. Spoiler alert, yeah, so. um, And the theme plays, and it sent chills down my spine. I was like, oh. And that's like, that's again, like, they made something memorable because they had good theming in their, their game. Like, they'll, and some games will do that very well, where what they're doing is essentially they're using the theme. Uh, you can barely see. Oh, okay, I see. They'll use the theme in different situations, or just have a hint of the theme in multiple songs. And I think of that as really cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Okay, I feel like this is a one-way road. Yeah, I knew the star would be somewhere like this. <laughs> oh, that's the last star. Oh, no. oh. Quickly! Catch yourself humming it while in the shower, or making dinner, or taking poop. Yes, exactly. But, but yeah, like good soundtracks will use that kind of theme to evoke emotion in you, and that's a very good way to use it, I'd say. Just because you do become attached, like that music becomes attached to something, and seeing the Normandy and playing that that little tune, the theme from the first game, was just like, YES! The Normandy! And, it was, and like, we're back at it. We're back at it again. We're just Commander Shepard going crazy. Uh -oh. I feel like I'm missing something here. So the last star was here. So we'll finish the level. Where did I miss the star? Oh! Are you excited for the Mass Effect Remastered? Yes, I am. I never properly played Mass Effect 1. So you're like, oh, how, how were you nostalgic about the tunes? Uh, as a kid, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people can probably relate. Games are expensive. <laughs> Games are a very expensive hobby. And... I couldn't buy most of the games, so I would watch them online. I... It was very interesting because I got to watch some of the first... Oh, I, I wanted that switch. I got to watch some of the first Let's Plays ever because I was on YouTube and like I was searching that kind of stuff back then. And I remember when that first became a, a thing. I was like, Let's Play, whatever, whatever. And I was like, whoa, this is such a good idea. Little did I know that I was watching like, I, I, I was watching like the first Let's Plays. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, but that was such a good idea. But yeah, I, I eventually ended up watching First mass and I was like, this is so cool! <laughs> you can just imagine a little kid Roz just being like, yes. Give me Oh, you know what? I might have missed it here because I was going so crazy about the star. Oh, you know what? This is all water. I bet there's something behind like these. But yeah, no, so games were really expensive. And I just couldn't buy all of them. 
so... So what I ended up doing was watching it and I did become... And that's the thing, like... Games? Like, you can totally watch games. <laughs> You're... For the first... For the first Mass Effect, Tasha. But yeah, I... I was just like, oh, Liara and Shep. And yeah, Fem Shep all the way. Like, oh. That was the first Shepherd I watched. And honestly, after comparing male Shep, ugh. <laughs> Voice acting not nearly as good. So. Uh, but. Did that fireball. Is. Excuse me? Fireball underwater? I guess Dirt Mario's always had fun. Yeah, that intro. <laughs> Mirror got a lot better after one. Mirror. I'll be honest, no clue what you mean. This is camera like this. I'm right at the checkpoint. I'm gonna do it. Nope. Where is... I, I did hit the checkpoint? Why aren't they giving me cats? The titular cat is not it is! The titular cat suit. The cat suit is on the title. Literally. No! Mario. But yeah, this might be my favorite tune in this game. No, not true. The main theme is good, but this song is really good. So I think I did this part right. I think this is where I got the first star. Yeah. It's not gonna be here, it's gonna be after this. But I genuinely can't think- maybe behind the waterfall? Yeah, how did I not hit this? What? <laughs> Man, I watch so many games. Uh, on YouTube. <laughs> like, the majority of the games I ended up watching instead of playing, because again, <laughs> no money. Uh, and there's no way you can watch. I remember when there was this whole thing that companies might be trying to uh, stop people from playing their games online. I remember when that was a really big thing. And <laughs> being one of the biggest ones where they, they were going to, uh, they actually limited, they wouldn't let you stream or play any other games online. I'm afraid there's something right here, but I can't see it right because of the waterfall. Aw, sneaky, they don't let me move the camera. I don't see any green glow though.
That's also how I fell in love with a lot of the series I ended up falling in love with. And later later on, when I actually got to play them, I was like, oh, I... You know, because it's, it's, it is different. You might enjoy the story of a game, and you might enjoy seeing it played, but sometimes you don't enjoy actually playing the game. And that's something I found out. Uh, one of the games I loved, and this is an, an example of what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just bringing it up, I guess. But was Metal Gear, and I love Metal Gear. And, ooh, okay, let's be very careful. We're going back to Mario Kart. With pitch. Pitch perfect. Can I break this? Um, uh, but was Metal Gear, and... Stealth is still one of my favorite genres, and I remember when I first saw Metal Gear. Because that one has a lot of story, and it's very convoluted. Um, but it's actually fun, because it's like... Those games don't take themselves seriously. They do and don't at the same time, which is one of the weirdest things about that series. And it's just like... I mean, it's not bad in any way. But it's definitely like something that... That series straddles pretty well, and it goes really cheap. <laughs> But it's a good time. And I remember when I first got to play it. And there's also a lot of dialogue. <laughs> oh man, if you're watching that game, there's a ton of dialogue. Even for people playing it, it's more watching that. Oh, I should have Peach. Frauds. Distracted. Have What are you doing? <laughs> I just Hello. exploded there. What are you doing, Heather? It's been I think it's been a really long time. Obviously not that we talked, but that we've been on either of our streams, like me on yours or you you on mine. I mean, granted I haven't streamed <laughs> over a year. Uh but It's been a while. It was good to see you. You spent... Okay. I'll read that. I just need to focus on this. I've been trying to get this. Okay. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? No! So I spent 45 minutes in a boss battle in FF12 and talked to one person who was my mod. Hey, honestly, sometimes smaller stream group speaking to someone who, who has had many of those streams where you have one person or no one watching you. Sometimes it's it's a good time, especially if it's one person watching it and they're willing to talk to you. Sometimes it's a lurker and nothing against lurkers, but sometimes you're just like, yeah, that's fun. And... Wow, they really want me to gamble. I've been... That's shown up three times. But... Sometimes... Having one person or two people is actually... It makes a very nice personal stream. Uh, so I... So it, so it just confuses me why people vote for a game and then don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Maybe it's the day or the time. Sometimes that does happen, where like people want to see it, but then it ends up being on the day they can't. Yeah, sorry about that. 
Yeah, and th no worries. No worries about that. <laughs> or like why pick a game that's gonna make me cry during the stream. I... I imagine... I can only imagine what would have happened if... When the original Last of Us came out. If I streamed. <laughs> it would have been a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> the first five minutes, I'm just crying. Oh look! They have glasses! They're so cute! They're like pull-uppers or whatever? I forget what... Cat bullet bills? Are you kidding me? Oh, save. That's save. Look at them! Oh, I messed with the wrong Mario, my friend. Get out of here, Bullet Bill. I mean, call it Bill. I want to go down this way. Will I break this? No! Did I restart the level? <laughs> Did I not? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I... Oh, yeah. <gasps> Class of Us. Obviously, I'm not gonna explicitly say what happens. I'm about to ruin that for later, because I think even though that game is old, like... Go out there, play it, have fun. Oh yeah, this suit is by far the best suit. Okay. Now remember, don't break. It's kind of useless to have uh, the big Mario mushroom, but being an auto scroller. Because you're just kind of waiting. Nope. This made me fall off. Oh. <gasps> Captain Toad! Oh, that's a that's a cool train. It's a bullet bill train. It's a bullet bill train. I just repeated what I just said. It's like like a bullet train. But it's... It's a bullet bill. Yeah. Can I go in there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This looks hard. Also, I still need to play The Last of Us 2. Yeah, I haven't played that either. But I don't have my PlayStation on me anymore. Uh-oh. Was she in any of the previous games? I don't remember her. I know they put her in Mario Maker 2. So definitely after this game originally came out. But, oh yeah, this was a boss. That's kind of cool. This was a whole boss on a train. All the bosses have been very horizontal. That's actually really interesting. I didn't stop to think about that. They're all on a track. So the first one was, um, was Bowser in his car. The second one was, were the tanks. And now this one was a train. It's actually really interesting. Oh, the, the fairy says thank you. For some reason, that fairy reminds me of my aunt. <laughs> Don't ask me why. She kind of looks like my aunt.
Kapapa? Kapo- What? <laughs> oh, oh. Why'd they get dark? Ooh. That's a good song. That's a funky song. of some kind. Ooh. This music gives me Cuphead vibes. Can I climb you? Subdued. Mario's very subdued in this game. He's not like going, wahoo! He's more like, nice! Nah, like he's chilling. Mario, Mario's just chilling. Yeah, Heather. You've been playing- I know that you really love Final Fantasy, but have you played all of them on stream at this point? Or... Oh. Oh, it's broken. I see. By the way, again, slight spoiler for this game, but the Bowser theme, which you have heard variations on, well, now we're in the desert again? Why are they breaking up all the conventions of Mario? Oh. Just turned it backwards. Okay, interesting. Oh, I guess you could kind of see the next land. Let's go! Let's go! There's a hole here. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Luigi! Why are there always little Luigis coming out of the boxes? Wow. 
We indeed. Luigi is dis- Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're in the- You're in the right place, my friend. Someone that agrees with the inferiority of Lugi. Lugi is the inferior. Brother. Hmm. You will not see Lugi being played in this channel. Again. Period. <laughs> I should make that. I mean, I wouldn't get anywhere with it. But it would be really funny if I just make it like. If they're for some reason, in some odd. For some odd reason, there are people that sun suddenly want me to play Luigi. I don't know why anyone would, but maybe I can ma even make that like an incentive. An unattainable one. So the point is, I'm not gonna play like that. Cheesing it. I don't care. There we go. Easy. Star? No. What do we have, Fairy? Okay. I see one star. That's the hardest thing about 2D platforming in a 3D game, is that you can move forward. And that makes it incredibly hard <laughs> to do what you want to do. Incredibly hard. I kind of like these ant guys. They're not really doing anything evil or They're just minding their own business and Mario's just actually they're not, they're not. That's a lot of the creatures. They're usually just minding their own business, and then Mario comes in and just kills them. <laughs> like that. Then the next- then there's a boss at the end of the level that's just a bunch of angry ants, and then we're like, Why are the ants angry? Why do you think? Mario just killed their entire family. Like my mother, my mother was killed by Mario. That evil mustachioed man. Oh no, we, we just gotta run now. Uh oh. Like it's cool, they don't even care that Mario's doing this. Mario's just being the worst person ever. Stepping in on their eyes and like, please, please don't do that. Please. Mario's just like, Whoa. Does Mario get downgraded into Luigi when taking damage? No, he he uh, becomes Baby Mario. Well, hatless Baby Mario. I don't know how that's going to work. He's not really a baby. He doesn't become Baby Mario because he doesn't cry. And we all know that that is the signature of Baby Mario. Just crying. A lot. The entire game. Oh, look at that cheeky ant showing his booty. Mini Mario! Well, you know what? The fairies don't have any dialogue in this game. I just realized, because I would have totally had to use my fairy voice. You know. I think I, I have not debuted the fairy voice on stream yet, so... 
I guess it'll remain a secret until further notice. Are you serious? That's a cool concept. He's in like the pipe you need to use to progress. See, this is this is Mario. He's just like shorter. Well, I did that on accident. No, no one can see. This is shit. No! really cool they they're introducing a lot of new concepts too this is a cool one i kind of like this one so not only are they retaining a lot of classic mario concepts they're also introducing a lot of really cool stuff which honestly i guess no i guess they they did for mario uh, odyssey but I think Odyssey has less creativity like this because they wanted to make it more open, and I think that has been the, the kind of the give and take of Mario for a while. Like, the developers clearly wanted to keep going more in this direction where they were doing more limited but more creative uh, levels. Whereas people were clamoring for... It's definitely a give and take because this game has so many cool ideas where where Odyssey is awesome and have very creative uh, moon locations, but it doesn't have a bunch of new stuff in this way, where like it's like a nice a nice concept to have a level designed around. Like I can't really think of any levels per se that have a very like tight concept that I had never seen in a Mario. In, if that makes any sense. Like, they had cool, cool things you could take over, like tanks and stuff like that, but it always, it never felt like they were being used to their full potential, if that makes any sense. Was this the way I, it was? Was it? Red, red rose. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Matt, 
Welcome! Thank you for stopping by. Oh. I'm just struggling here with some... Ah, run out of time! to go. Got all the stars. That's all I needed. I even got the stamp. There we go. How are you doing? Good to hear, good to- oh, I got a pipe. We've actually been doing quite well- oh. See, like, look at that guy. This guy's new. I don't know what this guy is. Alright. Big box or little box? Big box, little box. Big, of course. Ooh. <gasps> what happens if I caress a toad? Oh no. He likes it too. So I don't know- I don't understand the theming that they've kind of gone with. This world is like a stone world? Oh. Okay, I killed him. Oh, I just crushed his brother. Imagine using- Imagine having your body being used to kill your brother. That'd be terrifying. I would not want that. Like someone grabs your arm and starts punching someone you love. <laughs> okay, I forget that the arc of this. Ooh! Two at once. We indeed. That'd be terrible, it's like. I killed my own brother, but it wasn't my doing. Yeah, I guess I guess this is kind of like a canyon theme. Oh, here's a galaxy inspiration. Flip switch or beep block skyway. Let's go. All about the rhythm. All about the rhythm. Oh, no. Are you kidding? You're gonna make me multi block. To me! You're gonna make me multi block with. Can't go back. Shame. 
Spinning Bowser off the arena of oh, yes with those ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, this is trippy. Seeing these four Mario's just running around like crazy. Oh, I guess I have to get out of here. <laughs> like, usually they, they get me out of here, but If you think back, the Bowser fight was so simple in in 64. Cause like they, why is there always one rebellious Mario that wants to do a backflip? Right. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Really, it's just like if you've ever played pinball. When you get multi-ball, it breaks my brain. Multi-ball breaks my brain. Oh wait, I can. Okay, I can get a, a cherry right there. See how he whispers, "It's a me" every time. It's so freaky. The moment you clone yourself, they look at you and it's like. It's a me! Like, nope. I'm not about that. Get out of I wonder what it's like for, for these Koopas. Because, like, they have impending death coming towards them. Constant. Like, Mario. I, I did this one, but was that the third star? No, it was the second star. Okay. But yeah. Imagine just knowing. And it's so easy. The enemies in Mario, they're they're so easy to Uh oh. Okay. One. It's fine. We got it. We got it. That's my only gripe with this game. So they're putting Luigi everywhere. It's like they're glorifying. Remember when? Remember when they did Year of Luigi and it lasted for three years? What were they thinking? <laughs> like, oh, Year of Luigi. Oh, it, it's three years. I remember every time, every time the year was about to end, Reggie would come would come with his presentation and come. So, the year of Luigi is almost over. But listen. The year of Luigi is going to keep on going for the next year. This is a continued year of Luigi. And he did it so aggressively. It was always very smooth. Because that man was incredibly aggressive in the way he spoke. He put the fear in your eyes. And in your heart. Reggie was the best boss. Reggie was the scariest boss. So I guess if you didn't like him. Whoa. I need to keep two. Whoa.
So where- Oh, I love that they give you options, but in the end, since I'm doing all stars, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go for all the levels. But I- You know, sometimes I do ask, like, I wonder who, what type of person would just skip the level. Because to me, it's such a part of the- Those- These bouncy. They look very- Supple. my use of words, it was not in feel like there's something about this box. I want to break the rest. Okay, where is it? That's the thing, whenever you're going for, for something like... Look at the size of this one! <laughs> Look at them go! Oh, it... Hey! Yes, my favorite peach! Fire peach! Peach is perfect for this because she can hover. So I can actually avoid a lot of the bouncing. Uh oh. Because it should go. This one. Wait, wait, wait. Was there. For some reason, I thought there was this. Oh, you can go through them! You guys are kind of scary. <gasps> I just became a trampoline. I just transformed that dude into a trampoline. <laughs> when you kill someone so hard, they become a trampoline. Wait, is there? Okay, no, I thought that that was a platform in the back. I think it's because you can't control them. It really just gets you, you know? <laughs> oh no, I can't. One. We missed the middle one again. Mario Brothers 2, the one that like they released on the 3DS and it was all about being Oh no. It was all about gold and getting gold. And the whole thing was like you should you need to get a million gold, and that was the whole appeal of it, because they didn't really have anything else to do. <laughs> and like it didn't go anywhere. Like, no one remembers that game. I mean, they do if you mention it, but everyone forgets that game. Everyone
was like, oh yeah, that, that game. Yeah. Because there was literally no new idea. <laughs> Other than, I guess, the, the question mark block that has a bunch of coins in them. That came from... That came from... That game. One of the few ideas that that game created. I guess I don't need the fire flower. What its points? Okay. Where... Where is... And if it's around here, it could be around here. No, this is the beginning of the level, I'm not saying. I'll get time. Okay, so that's the first one. So it's somewhere here. It's really right. Okay, so. I can't. Oh. oh, you know what? I, I I don't even know what this is. <laughs> okay, I need a, a power up of some sort. Okay. I need to get up here. Get all the money, Super Mario Capitalism. I was just actually looking up the Marxist board games because I've been taking a social theory course. Interesting. Oh. Okay, maybe this will help me out. Okay, yeah. Hmm. There we go. was not ready to redo that again. Oh, I'm getting way more as Mario. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get one of them. This is actually really fun. Having the... Yeah, this block straight out of Mario 2. Oh no! What? You got hurt? Or maybe it just ended. Alright. Oh, only one of them become... What? <laughs> that was about to send me to the moon. <laughs> that was gonna send me real far. Oh, I didn't look at the time again. Because, at least in the old Mario games, you would only get the fireworks if the two last digits of the time were the same or something like that. There we go, we need two. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. I'm gonna try a different strategy now for the roulette. Although the rhythm worked for three last time. So much for the follow. I love his little run in this game. His run is so satisfying in this game. The fact that he does do like the the classic, where he has his hands on his sides. Ten. There are ten coins in here. I mean stars. Mystery House Mad Dash. We'll see. Alright! Oh, switching the angle on me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's Crash Bandicoot! 
Crush Bandicoot. Three. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> They're all about dashing. That's a good thing. Watch this. <laughs> Stop, Mario. It's actually in time with running. Almost. The design of Mario games are just so good. <laughs> it just makes you feel like movement. It just makes you feel good when you're playing it. It's incredible. It's just... It's just a joy, you know? It's pure joy playing these games. There's such a masterclass in... in game design. It just feels good. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's funny, because we hadn't gotten these guys yet. But that la last level introduced us to, to, the, to the spikes. But I'm guessing this was the level, the non-optional level that was going to introduce it to us. What's the name of... I know we've encountered these guys a few times. What, what's their names? They're, they're like, uh, they're not Goombas, they're like Galoombas? I think they're Galoombas, right? You're the Galoombas. I'm the Galoombas. Here we go. Oh. Excellent! I do want to explore every corner of the level because... Since I'm... Collecting... All the stars. What? Ooh. Okay. Oh, everyone's. Wait. Did I miss one? To each of you guys, what? What do you consider to be the best design game? You've played or seen or you know just the best design game in your life. It could be a favorite. No, sometimes we don't really. Like, our favorite games aren't the ones we think are the best. Maybe this one we're next to us, but like, which one do you think is the best made game that you've ever played or ever seen or never seen? But I, I find it kind of like I guess you could. Say a game you've only heard? I, I guess you could. Games that are usually known for being good. I guess I'm more interested in your own experience. What? Oh, is it? Alright. Perfect. Feeling there's something here. Ah, ah, ah! I needed that cat. I think that was the second star. I see the third star right up ahead. I kind of like the sound of these. Ah, this was the second star. The third star. I mean, ah, I was hoping maybe I was wrong. These levels are getting a little bit rougher. I can't just... I can't just run. 
through them. That's a big question, yeah. No, it is. It is. But sometimes... I know that sometimes people do have those. Where they're like, yes, this is the game that I just think was like, oh, so good, so perfect. Wow. Let's try this with Peach. Hello. I'm a little baby Peach. Probably get out of here, Galumbas. It sounds like an insult. Galumba sounds like a some sort of. Some sort of like Italian insult. You Galumba! This works with Mario. Alright. But yeah, like, again, with just how well made this game is. Like, they explore every theme so well with each level. This level with the, not only this, they start only with spikes, then they do the, the swinging platforms, then they put them together. So that's one of the great things about just Mario games in general that they do. It's just, oh, what if it's up here? I really like Cave Story. Cave Story. I suppose. It wasn't perfect, but somehow very solid. The game is fun. Quote. Hey, honestly, that's all that matters. Were you able to... Oh, please don't lose this cat suit. Okay. This is my guess of where the second star is. Here we go. Oh, please don't miss. Oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. Ooh. I'm back! Hello, welcome back, Kylie. Meow. We are currently in World 4. I believe... If this is like all the other Mario games, I believe this has eight worlds, plus a special world for them boys and girls who are real overachievers. Which we are. So. Fire Bros Hideout. Okie dokie! Fight the time! Wait, was that it? All right. yeah. Kind of a crappy hideout. I think I think a game that to me is very well designed uh, would be Portal 2. I think that's one of my earliest... It's one of the earliest games I really loved. Was Portal 2. And I think they do such a great job of doing exactly this. They teach you a mechanic and then build on it. And they keep building and building on top of each other. And I think of that. And they do it in a very natural way. It doesn't feel forced or it doesn't feel like unnatural. 
obviously, if it's in the natural way, obviously, this is the natural. But it, it was just mind blowing at the time, especially as it, when it came out. Portal 1 2 was very good, but I think Portal 2 is much better. And the way they, they introduce each new mechanic, the goops. Even the be right at the beginning when they do one portal and then the other portal, I think of that, the way they do that, is very well done. Ooh, ooh, look at that lava towards the distance. Can I pick you up again? No! Hey. Oh, that's cool. Uh, an another thing that really got you... Got that feeling of like, ooh, ooh. Was whenever you shot from one of the stars in Mario Galaxy. And then all the little star bits came following with you. They like, oof. Oof. How do I pick this up? Why do I... Okay. It feels like I can only do it sometimes. Ooh, that felt good. That felt good. I'm just worried. Oh, <laughs> murder! That, honestly, that is completely fair. Mario Galaxy is a masterclass in design. But again, like, th that's what Nintendo just really gets right. They can, they, they just make these games that are incredible. And uh, there have only been, like, I think I can count. Ooh, ooh, um, sir? You, yes, drop your little babies. Kill you with your babies. You know, some of the things you... <laughs> when you stop to think about the things they, they make you do. I think we can do one more world. I think I'm going to do one more world, and that's going to be it for me tonight. Because we've been going at a really good pace. Although the ice, like, I was about to say water and ice tend to be the worst levels. The ice level is fine. The ice level is okay. Alright. 
Let's see what Captain Toad has for us. Because he had a lamp. Thought maybe. Oh, oh, wait. I see. Okay. This over here. Now, these are a different kind of puzzle. And I think that they... They excel in a different way. But they're still very good. There we go. to do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Go, Captain Toad! Go, Captain Toad! <laughs> Not going full voice. It's getting pretty late. Hello? I don't think anyone's sleeping. <laughs> Alright. Now for what could be a very... Dreadful experience, water world. Water world. Let's go. Toad, to toad chandelier cover. Oh. Gotta be fancy. Never works. I'm not a cat anymore. I can't run into people. These are pretty good. I do this. Ruin someone's art. This Koopa. And that's another thing too that I feel like this game loses a lot. For some reason, the the more open worldy Mario's, they they had more character. The characters had more character. If that makes sense. Like, you had Koopa the Quick, where he's not just a Koopa, he's not just a bad guy. Like, he has a personality and stuff, and I think that that's one thing that's really cool in any of the, the like, persistent Marios. Is that they actually give personality to all the characters. And that's something that these level-based ones don't do it. And that's something that I think Paper Mario really struggled with when they went level-based. And that's why, to me, still the best the best Paper Mario is still Thousand Year Door. Oh. Maybe I, I really want to play that one. At some point on stream. I think that, that would be really fun. But, oh. I have. Oh, oh, they're huddling! Huddle. Um. Come on. Uh oh. Um. Uh, my voice needs to be really ready for that. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you. Is, I know what that is. Oh! <laughs> Look at him! Look at him go! The little toad! Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. The little Goomba! 
Bowman. Wait, was this progress? No. We're gonna have to redo this level. What? What? I mean, I'll never say no to this song, but... <laughs> I'm still a Goomba. <laughs> Listen to it. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. No. I've heard. Did I just miss two stars? I didn't even get to appreciate that I'm a boomerang, bro. Because... Kumba head. I've heard the toad covers of songs. Ooh, my head. <laughs> Why do they make the toad voice like this? Ooh, another. I like that they have this kind of carnival theme. To like some levels, and to a lot of the boss levels, like the the big boss levels. Okay, since we're doing this again, we'll take Peach. <laughs> she looks really cute with a little turtle. That's awesome. Peach is doing a way better job than Mario. Peach is just killing More <laughs> like killing everyone. I'm into murder. Well, <laughs> box club for Peach. Wait, there is a hole in the sea. Oh, I lost it. I'm being careful to look at the hole in the sea. Oh. Oh, oh! Get out of the way. I need to check that hole. In the ocean. I like that they still have the sound. I didn't notice that earlier. They still have the Super Nintendo sound. There we go. Stop chasing him! Like, this game has... That's actually one of the... Of surprisingly impressive. This game, of all the Mario games, has, I think, the least... Take it just like in Galaxy. Add Pronto immediately tears within the first minute. Yeah. <laughs> that'll <laughs> that'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, ooh, ooh.
<laughs> my ears cry too. I think that's uh <laughs> more appropriate. My ears cried red. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, there was a secret there. Alright, Plessy. Let's go. At least I get to hear this song. I've never realized in any other level or in any other game that Plessy has a kind of a seal sound. Not the singer. I never say goodbye to Pless. Pless is below me. Pless is just right. I don't know why she is slightly Italian. Yeah, I feel like. The game is now getting a little bit trickier. Let's see this one. This one that has kind of a... Circus theme. Let's see one green. Up with that platform. I actually need to go back to that level. That platform that actually would not end. Seems like they don't want me there. I kind of like these guys. These like, rah, rah, rah. Oh, there's a there's a spotlight. This is freaking me out so much. <laughs> this level's really messing with me. Okay. It's messing with my depth perception. Oh, oh. I'm looking a little bit more into it. Uh oh. Mess up. I messed up. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Peach. Take everybody down. Mega Peach. To my castle, Mario. Oh no! <laughs> Please. Oh, I wonder what would have happened. Oh, I saw Toad there. Oh no! Didn't see that. Oh, uh oh, uh oh! That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do the other thing. I saw you here. What's the deal, Captain Toad? Captain Toad! You give me a green star, that's. <laughs> that's our deal. <laughs> I have to. Uh, well, I guess I, I kinda have to kill myself. I can get a, another chance. I guess I survived. So I can get another chance at. No, no, no. Peach, 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 Pe
Peach, 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 please. the first time. He's just showering coins on me. Oh. The stamp was just sitting there in the corner. That, I will still say this, though, after having, you know, I, getting through what I believe will, is kind of halfway through the game. It is pretty, it, it is on the easier side. I mean, it's not really, not necessarily a bad thing, but the game is on the easier side for a lot of this. And it's not a complaint, because it's still a really good game. Well, I guess it is a bit of a complaint, because I, I did... I do want to see more challenge! Peach, don't do it again. Peach, Peach. Oh no! That's it. That's when you know you're not a good Mario player. When they show you. When they show you the golden item. <laughs> guess you're still getting your challenge. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I just need to time this better. Hey -ya! variety of levels and they haven't really followed a single theme. Backstreet Boys. Oh, I see it too. specific button for Toad in this level. 
Wait, did one of my peaches die? doing this level again. They, they stress you out. They stress you out with the 10... 10... the 100... second uh, timer, and it's just like... There's a toad button in this. Yeah, they stress you out with the ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And, Oh, that's interesting. Why is there a broken piece here? Yeah. What does he say? Mega pie? What is he saying? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We'll get the toad button. Can't believe. Quantify. I didn't think I don't, but I, I wanted to get the the little thing, the little toad thing. And, you know what's funny too? You mentioned that. The only I think this game doesn't like Luigi because the only character who hasn't had a button yet is Luigi. We've had everyone else. We have not had Luigi, <laughs> which makes me wonder. I love that Nintendo is in on the joke that Luigi sucks. Like, they make Luigi the Luigi. Like, <laughs> his whole game is about him being the only game Luigi. Did I just lose a Mario? The only game that has Luigi as a. as a main character is Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, well, I guess at this point, he has a I just need four. I'll kill the Goombas first, I guess. I guess that's the smarter thing to do. Just kill the Goombas first. Kill the Goombas first. Line up, line up, and... Please do not fall off. Thank you. Why can't I reach the top? house. Alright, get ready. Tell me if it's big present or little present. Last time we we did not hit jackpot with big present. So maybe this time we'll hit jackpot with big present? He'll switch it up on us? Or is little present gonna be the one? Think. Little? Okay. Ooh. He tricked us. He got us again. Switch it up. Charmed. 
Charging Chuck's blockade is back. Mario, stop. Mario, stop missing him. Oh, I almost got all of them at once. Ooh, that would have been great. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Looks interesting. <laughs> Looks almost prehistoric. Brawling Savannah. Let's go. Here. Sorry, here we go. That's a big bell. No, it's a normal side bell. What was that? Oh. Oh, they die. When you discover how butter is made, you no longer want butter. I don't know what... Don't ask me about. I feel like there should have been a... Go into one of these pipes? I think so, but. Huh. Oh, there's a mound here. Let's deal with this. Oh! Oh, that's a big field right there. Are we gonna get like some sort of vehicle or? Oh, that's our turning. <laughs> Savannah. We we're kind of like looking for. Oh, I see something. Oh, one in. I like it. They even go low with the camera so you can see the sun in the background. I'll go to bed. Thank you, Pronto. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was good seeing you. See, it is supposed to be like a lion in a savannah. Come on. Stupid bunny. Ugh. Excellent. <sighs> <laughs> big open area reminding you of Serious Sam. I know, it's not very unusual to have a big open area like this, especially in a in a Mario game. I feel like this big boy has a secret. I can't kill him. Okay. I lost my catness. Do you eat the bunny? Eh, debatable. Some call it eating, others call it. There's something here. Why is there a break in the rocks? Why is there a break in the rocks here? I guess. Is the last stone? What? 
I re-slowed the music. Oh, oh, I see something. I see a coin man. I see a real star. I see a Luigi! See that? Another bunny would have? I think these only have coins. Where would the last. I only have 40 seconds, I gotta go. This is gonna drive me crazy. Unless it's. They're gonna make it. Ooh. I still gotta get this star though, but at least I know where it is. <laughs> I need to get that one second. Oh, Cat Peach cleaning herself. What, what, what a pleasant. Back to the, back to world 5-4. Back to the sprawling savannah. Get that bell. Get that bell. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get hurt to get what you want. Lifeless. Speed around this level now. Now that I know. Go. There we go. I didn't- I thought they were gonna move with the platforms. <laughs> I was sure they were gonna move with the platforms. But no. I guess I'm getting a one-up every time I do this. Alright. Now I know, though. Be patient. There we go. There we go. Meow. I am understanding the ways of the cat more and more. I am becoming one with the cat. Soon I will be a cat.
I think it, I think you can't not get 100. I think the the game takes pity on you because it still hasn't happened, and I've hit them at very random times. <laughs> I've never done it. I don't think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I really don't. Let's go. But oh. Oh no, I was okay with being a cat. I guess it's more useful for this. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Other. That's fine. Oh. Are there stars here? Oh, this is kind of like a cake. I didn't even realize. Like a little. This is this is a theme that was introduced in Galaxy as well. The whole food thing? The food levels? Oh, here we go. I guess I let it hit the end? It doesn't seem right. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. But it didn't work either way. Huh. Okay. Try that again. Maybe I have to drop it. as a paddle. I lost my other Mario. I use my switch as a paddle. Boom. There we go. But now I lost all of my clones. And I lost my fire. Matthew, did you sub? 
You did? I, I didn't catch that. Or I forgot how I set up my emotes. Don't make me jump to get that, okay. No! <laughs> Why is my brain not working? I think, I guess it's just getting late. Maybe I should stop after this level. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, cool. When you know your, your disappointment. Okay. I'm being so careless. No, okay. No, okay. Okay. No, I have this! I don't need this! What am I doing? I just need it too! I just needed it too! Oh... I just needed it too! I mean, you just need a two. You know what? I'm gonna get to the castle, and I'm gonna beat the castle. And, uh, on the next stream, so if you- if you do check the stream schedule, I am going to be streaming Monday, Friday. Let's go. What a what a great way to say it. Put it completely out of order. Um, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. So just like just like how. Okay, what do I need this for? Bullets don't shoot unless... This is actually really cool, it's a stealth... Stealth slot, uh oh. I needed it for some reason. Okay, here we go. What do I need it? I guess... Jump over. It's transforming! Oh boy. Uh oh. Always walk towards the screen. It's always a secret. See what you're doing. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, they're coming out this way. That's actually really cool. Oh boy. I'm being terrible at it. I say, oh, I love stealth games. Then I do this. <laughs> what are people gonna think? Okay. Hit the wall!
That's a smart little bug. I like that. I'm never saying no to becoming a Goomba. I'm never saying no to that. You had a chance to become a Goomba? You never, never let that go. Was there anything on this side? No. Uh oh, uh oh. There's something. Um, light? Oh, it's because I'm a Goomba! <laughs> that's, that's... I kind of want... I feel like there's something. Okay, there wasn't anything. I just wasted my Goomba. do this Got the stamp. Never mind. I'm just betting on nothing. There we go. <laughs> Speed running through a stealth level. <sighs> Quite a new way of doing it. Blue Toad. Yeah, why, why, why is the toad not the normal color toad? What is this thing at the bottom here? I see it. We all see it. What in the world is this? What? Did I just discover the warp zone? Excuse me? <laughs> what the world is this? <laughs> oh, you know, the golden train with the golden moon. Oh, I'm gonna miss all those. Wait. Here's your new Super Mario Brothers 2 level. Shower on me. I'm just gonna stand there. <gasps> Captain Toad! It's actually kind of cool to to see something that would usually have kind of like a translucent uh, texture on it. Let's see it with a solid texture. So like the smoke coming out with solid gold on it. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see. Hello. Are you being useless again, Tom? <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Oh, I, 
didn't expect this. Okay, so... It's after the... Fire flower. They get faster, I think. In Mario 3, an interesting thing is that you could always get the star at the end of the... Okay, this is a... You could always get the star at the end of the, the levels because if you... Because they always start the the random pattern at a at, in the same way. So... You get through it and you... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do... A castle, and that's gonna be it for me. But yeah, so you, if you go into it, into the last block in the Mario 3 levels running, you'll always get the star. So then you can, you know, get a bunch of lives from it because. Because you have to accumulate three of the same to, to then get, like, lives. So it kind of works like the. casino -y thing in this game. The roulette. Oh, and if you were here at the beginning of the stream, I'll be glad to know, so I was mentioning that I I would have headaches every time I streamed and I thought it was normal. Obviously, it's not normal. Now, you know, I used a little bit of logic and... <laughs> Figure that out, but okay, I'm gonna wait until it's. There we go. Uh, I used a little bit of logic and discovered that no, I had just just had to position the lights correctly, uh, and I feel fine. I feel great, so I can say that maybe for the first time. In a very long time, I don't have a headache from streaming. Like, really long time, as in... Pretty much every single stream I've ever done, I've had a headache after like 10 minutes of doing it, but just kind of kept pushing through. I just thought it was like a me thing. But... Can confirm, not a me thing, just a stupid thing. <laughs> oh, I see you. Okay, time to die. Bye bye. Bye bye. I need I mean, uh, Cat Mario. Oh, can I not get Cat Mario from here? Oh no, I can't. I was wondering about this third, the second star, if like it came back, or if you had to like, if it appeared once you got close enough to it, and then it, like, that was it. But Nintendo doesn't need stuff like that. They usually make it so you can get it again. They don't trap you. It's like, ah, Mario, Mario. Why? Oh, this looks like a boss room. Hello, sir. You seem cute. Alright. Oh, look at your little booty! <laughs> you have a little plump booty. I'ma hit your booty. I'ma hit your booty. This guy is kind of deadly. Oh! I didn't realize that. Alright. Oh. 
booty. You down. You down, son. Got your plump booty. to star. I missed the star. Now look, it's the J-pop fairy. We're gonna have to go through this again, boys. I missed a star somewhere. I didn't see it. You guys see where it could have been? Oh, Chuck. I legitimately didn't see it. Also, I, I think I remember something about after you finish the game, like when you go through the credits, there's, um, Like, to get to the harder levels, you need to have a certain amount of the... of stars, so... That's why I think it's also a good idea to collect the stars, because it's gonna be useful more than one way. There's that. That's a early morning trick. Always use... Always use your stored item before you get a, a new item, so you can get the best one. How oh, does that not work? Okay. Cat Mario makes it so much easier. Alright, so I know... Run when you're not supposed to be speed running when you're supposed to be trying to find a specific. I bet it's around here. This takes me to the boss. furry, eh? Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. I'm just really struggling here. I don't know if I'm tired, I'm sleepy, both, because they're usually synonyms. But I can't find the last star. Are you kidding? I need... I needed the... <laughs> Suit right now. Okay. Okay. Mar Mario. Yeah. 
Thanks, guys. I, I, pre I appreciate it. Time to get that booty again. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Oh, he was crying, buddy. Okay. <sighs> Got hit by the booty. Interesting boss. I mean, not, not the most challenging boss, but very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty good. Don't you dare disappear, coins. Very well. Here, you're a free fairy. What are you doing here? You're making me do this level again. You're just dancing over there like... Ah -ha. I'm here in this with Mario. Get out of here, fairy. And with that, my friends. With that. <laughs> I think that is going to be... Star. I understand. I understand. With that, on that note, I think we're gonna. Oh, the chat disappears. Thought maybe the chat would be. See, I'm still learning new things about this. This setup. Because the chat was supposed to be oh, over there. But anyway. But now it's starting to show up. Anyway. Thank you everyone for stopping by for the first day. Of m me back streaming. So as I, as I mentioned before. I will be streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll be doing it at 8pm. 8 p.m. to midnight, around midnight. That's gonna... Um, that's gonna be... Oh, wow, the colors actually look different on there than, than you guys have on the chat that I've been looking at. But yeah, so, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys join me next time. But for today, for tonight, that's it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And... Your poker ma What? Oh, I see. I see. I need to fix the size and the size of that too. I have a few things. Many hugs to all of you, and have a great weekend. I will see you guys later. Enjoy. Enjoy your weekend. I'm um, it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna fix the size of all that. <laughs>